like the Honor Bowl really it focuses on educating not just students and athletes, but overall communities about you know, the needs of our military veterans. Because I do know that over 30% of military veterans are affected by PTSD. I know it's a great event um, to educate young football players what it's like to be in the military and just to know that it is more than a football game. It's a football game, but it's also like more than football. It's about like the military and the experiences and like just the troops and for the community. Yeah, at the beginning of the season last year, our coach uh, had us all watch Saving Private Ryan. And we all like we all went into this tiny little kind of theater and watched this movie. And it was really ex a great experience to show like how these people are fighting alongside each other, just like we will be fighting alongside each other on the field. Our coach is very, very strong on uh, military influence in football and how it not only relates to the battle, the football doesn't just relate to the battlefield, but it relates to life in general and having your brothers back and stuff like that. So we, we do a lot of military organized events such as Burbies for Vets and uh, Seals Fit. Called Seal Fit. Uh, we've been attending it for the last few years now. Uh, it's run by the Navy Seals and it's just an event to honor them. We did uh, a ton of burpees to kind of support the vets. We raised money for vets um, who are suffering from PTSD and multiple other traumatic uh, disorders. Well, prior to our last SEAL fit event, we presented them a check with $7,000 from our burpees for uh, vets event. Uh, I know that we've had a few graduates who have gone on to a uh, military academy. Seppi Ortman, who was our kicker uh, two years ago, is there now. So yeah, my brother Nicholas Clock went to the United States Naval Academy. Um, me and my family were really proud that he got in there because of all the like hours he spent, like writing letters and like training for for that moment he got to, he got accepted in, and he uh, to play golf. And he's a student from Camp Lindo. Um, I'm excited for our team to fly around next year and to make some plays, and we should be ready to go. Uh, I know it's going to be a crazy environment. Coach Macy always likes to get us out of our comfort zone and out of the uh, the La Marinda safety net, and he's always throwing us into things that we've never been in.